Hey guys, so today we are in the car. Um, one common thing that I've uh, been hearing a lot about is the cabin filters in the cars. Now, you know, you can have, you know, your mechanic do it or the dealerships do it, but, you know, it's really actually something very simple that you can do yourself. In uh, this car is from like 2004, so really, it, they're, for the most part, they're all standard. So all you have to do from here is move, is adjust it by the clips. So oh, first what we're going to do, if you have one of these pieces, little strings, you just lean it up, you turn this, and you poke it through the little hole. So now that release. So then sometimes what you might have are like little clips right here in which you can just pop the clips out, you know, by putting your finger around and pushing them this way in towards my hand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, bend this as we do it. So when we do it, we're pulling it like this. Just pull it, and then you're going to do the same to the other side, and it'll drop. Now once it drops, you have back here a little piece of felt. They're trying to make both sides look nice, I guess, or hide something. Who knows? And what you do then is this little nudge right here, this little, uh, what do you call it, this little piece, it turns. And then the, it, the top part lifts out. From there, there's a, there is a bottom piece right over here. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let me put a little flashlight on it for you. There's a little bottom piece right there. So what you're going to do from there is you're just going to push it down and it falls to the floor. So now we got both right here. And from there, you can take this and take it out. Now this one is two pieces. So it, you need the two pieces sometimes because in this one there's a bar for the, that holds up the glove box that blocks it. So you can take this all out to put one piece in probably, but too much of a pain in the neck. Just have the two that connect to each other. Now this one's still pretty clean. I changed this uh, about a couple months ago, like maybe two, three. So it's pretty good. Uh, what is good to do, you know, just carefully vacuum them out once in a while. You know, you get uh, a lot longer. But I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to just leave these in. But, you know, one thing, you know, you might have to be careful for, you know, make sure you don't get a whole bunch of leaves in there and all that. You know, because I recently, this doesn't look too bad. But, you know, one reason why you want to clean it out is so the... the it does the air doesn't get hard in there and it starts to build up and then the clean air can't get through that easy you know it doesn't matter what time of year it is you want to be able to have you know good clean air so now we're just going to put back together in reverse I'm trying to do this with one hand for you guys so oh, I dropped it oh it's all plastic so what we're going to do now is put it down see if we can get that in oh. There we go. You just put it down and slide it up above these clips right here. Once it's up, you're going to just take the second one and just tilt it like this. And now, you need to push this piece in straight. So we'll go in. So now, I just you put it in so it's flat and flush. And now, just turn. Give it a nice little pull on both ends. See, it's not going anywhere, so we'll just cover it back up and make it look nice now. And now, here's the easiest part. All you gotta do from here is take the box, just like that, and then just push it back in place. Now it's all locked in. So now let's just grab this piece. I mean, I don't see a reason why this is here, but it's for safety, so. I definitely think it's uh, best just to put everything back the way it was. So we'll push it through. Now it holds. And now, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed.